Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shorup Search Classes. And today we are looking at the ISI MSQE PEA paper 2023, question number one. So a consumer's budgetary allocation for two goods X and Y is given by small m. A demand for commodity X is given by X, which is equals to 2m by 5px. Suppose our budget allocation m and the price of commodity Y remains the same at m equals to 1000 and py is equals to 20 what while the price of commodity x falls from rupees 5 to rupees 4 then the substitution effect of the price change is given by which of these four so let me write down the information that's given over here so the initial amount of in monetary income is given to be 1000 and the price of good y continues to be at 20. The initial price of good X has been given to be 5 and it falls to 4. So PX dash is equals to 4 and the demand is given as X is equals to 2 by 5 into M by PX. So if I talk of the original amount of the good X that will be demanded we will easily get this by substituting the value. So that is 2 by 5 into 1000 divided by Px. So that is basically 80 and to get to the optimal amount of good y we can easily use the budget equation so m is equals to px into x star plus py into y star so my y star will be m minus px into x star divided by py star so the original amount of good y would be 1000 minus px is 5 this is coming out to be 80 divided by 20 so that is basically giving me 1000 minus 400 divided by 20 so that is 600 by 20 which is turning out to be 30 so if we graphically try to visualize the situation so here is your good x here is your good Y. This is your initial budget line. And the arbitrary indifference curve will be tangent at this point where your original amount of good X is 80. And this is turning out to be 30. Now the new situation is that suppose the price of good X falls to rupees 4. So graphically the budget line will become flatter. So in order to find out the substitution effect, what we should do? We should push the new budget line parallelly backwards till it passes through the old consumption bundle. So this is my old equilibrium, 90 of good X and 30 of good Y. So this is how it will look like. And corresponding to this, the point where the indifference curve will intersect, that will give you the substitution effect so let's say that is excess and the difference between these two is what we require to find out now in order to get to this new budget line this parallelly shifted budget line what we need to know we need to know the expenditure that is represented by this parallelly shifted budget line m dash now since this budget line passes through the old consumption bundle what we should check is that what would be the expenditure on the old bundle which is 80 and 30 at new prices the new prices is basically price of good x is turning to be 4 and the price of good y continues to be 30 sorry 20 so what is my m dash it is 80 into 4 plus 30 into 20 
so that is 320 plus 600 turning out to be 920 so this is the m dash which is 920 which represents this parallel shifted budget line now on this budget line what would be the amount of x that is consumed we'll put this in the expression 2 m dash by 5 px dash so that is 2 into m dash is basically 920 5 into px dash which is 4 so that is basically 2 into 920 divided by 20 so that is basically 92 so under the substitution effect the consumption of good x rises from 80 to 92 so if you look at the options that is given by option number d this will result in an increase in demand for good x from 80 to 92 thank you